Hello, so I'm with Dr. David Dorner, the Global VP of R&D at Continental Aerospace Technologies. Uh, we're here to talk about the CD300. Dr. David Dorner, hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. I uh, hope you're enjoying you're right. the show so far. Yeah. I uh, did. So it's my first show and I, I'm really excited. Excellent. So here's the CD300, yeah. I believe. Tell us a little bit about this engine to start with. This is our CD300 uh, engine. It's um, like the name says it to you. It's a 300 horsepower engine. So it's currently um, installed in the BA50. And yeah, it's a beautiful engine like you can see. So the configuration is a six cylinder? It's, six it's six a six cylinder, a V6. Six cylinder V6. Yeah, yeah. it's a diesel engine. So common rail diesel engine, it's liquid cool. That means the engine is very quiet when you operate it. Yeah, and what else do you want to know? So, um, so I think the big news is that this was launched in the Diamond with a TBR of 1,200 hours. Yes. Um, but recently that's been extended? Yes, we did it. So I think it is already announced. Yeah. So we have now the TBR for 2,000 hours, operating hours. And we also um, include in this certification program also some maintenance part, which you have to exchange. And that means uh, a tremendously reduction in operation cost for the pilot and the owner. So as I understand it, the Gearbox originally had a TBR of 600 hours, but yes. it's now an on-condition yes. unit? Yes. Um, the, the Gearbox itself, it has now engine lifetime. So, but it was agreed with our uh, authority that we have to inspect it by just all oil analysis. Okay, and is that oil analysis done by? Uh... It's done directly by the service centers. Okay. So, and they can um, send those oil samples to to any laboratory they want. They just have to use their some standard methods to analyze it. Okay. And then they say if your gearbox is in good condition or not. So we don't expect there any form. So we tested it really, really strong. And we didn't find any issue with that. It's just uh, we did not really have now um, that much flight hours in the field. So Diamond is ramping up its productions. And so the engine is used in the field. But we do not have a really high run currently. Okay, and so when when was the when did Diamond, who's the first customer just for the DA50, when did they was that last year or was that the year before? I believe they announced it on the last trade show. Oh, so that would be two years ago. Mm -hmm. In 2019, they announced that they want to use uh, our engine for the DA50. Yeah. So and then we start to get on the certification program and. Yeah, now we have to... So what's the process of taking an engine that has 1,200 hours TBR to 2,000 hours TBR? Testing, what, what do you testing, have to, testing, 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 testing. And so you've been doing a lot of testing. Yes, and we burned a lot of jet A. Burned a lot of jet A doing that testing. Well, congratulations on achieving the 2,000 hours TBR. I'm sure that 300 horsepower engine, uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other aircraft where this would sit very well. Hopefully we'll see it installed in some others fairly soon. Um, Maybe. Don't, don't tell me. <laughs> in fact, you can tell me. Nobody will know, honestly. <laughs> don't wait. So, fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay. So remember, like, comment, subscribe.